Ariana, don't call me Venti Grande, stormed off the set of a photo shoot because the photographer insisted on taking pictures of both sides of her face. Then her bodyguard confronted him in the parking lot and told him he had to delete all the pictures of the right side of her face. E! News anchor Juliana Rancic, who apparently doesn't know how to spell her first name, came forward saying that Grande's people had actually made her switch spots at an award show so Ariana could hide her right side and show off her left. Now the fact that she has a right side to her face would seem like something Ariana would want out there, being something she has in common with all but her most unfortunate fans. But the Diva Watch research squad was able to uncover a couple of photos of Grande with her right side showing, and woof. That clump of seaweed and shower drain spunk appears to have eyes, you guys. Now obviously she looks great on both sides, which kind of makes the whole thing weirder. We all know Nicole Kidman can't clap, but wait till you see her try and run. The daughter from Gilmore Girls forgot how to hold things between the end of the show and the beginning of the Netflix movie. No actors know how to type. Apparently, to get admitted to the Screen Actors Guild, you need to first prove to them that you can't throw a baseball worth a sh**. You guys ever notice how celebrities who reveal themselves to be human monsters in old age can't seem to figure out how to use YouTube? Probably not, since despite their ultra-huge fame, only like a few people have watched Bill Cosby or Donald Trump's YouTube channel. And there's actually a really good reason. They don't understand just how anything on YouTube works. The playlist from The Desk of Donald Trump contains 66 nearly identical videos of Trump at his desk unleashing just ice cold takes on subjects I'm pretty sure nobody even gave a shit about at the time. Like Ryan Seacrest getting ashes dumped on him as part of Sasha Baron Cohen's publicity stunt at the Oscars. For some reason, Trump becomes fixated on why one security guard in the background should be fired. And the security guard that was standing to the right, he ought to be fired immediately. And I only wish that the security guard that allowed it all to happen, number one gets fired, and number two, go to school, learn about being security. You don't know, man. Thus ends Donald Trump's brief but memorable attempt to make, you don't know, man, his next hit catchphrase. The least popular video that's still public is Trump pretending people are asking him questions about who good presidents are and China. One of you have asked, when was the last time we had a leader, a real leader in Washington? Another person asked, what are the long-term liabilities if we continue to allow China to do what they're doing to this country. It's been viewed fewer times than Trump tweets in a day because it was released at a time when nobody gave a sh what he thought about the presidency or international relations. A stark reminder of how quickly a nation can lose its mind.